Okay, I want to show you how to put your penny on your uh, stainless steel gas line, CSST. This is a gas tank system. And the first thing you want to note is on your second corrugation back. That's where you want to cut your plastic around. You want to take that coating off of there. Just hang your utility knife and wrap it around it. Alright, so you have two coordinations. At this point, this is your fitting. I know your fitting, pull out your sleeve. Okay, you'll have a sleeve that goes inside your fitting. Pull that out, and that goes on your coordination. Okay. Kind of upside on, but so next thing you'll do is you want to slide on your nut, put on your two pennies. So your fittings are on there. Next thing you want to do is put your other fitting. You want to slide that in your fitting. Alright. Put your nut on. You just want to hand tighten that for now. Now, when you put your fitting on, like I said, this is the gas tank system. I don't like to use pipe wrenches or anything like that. You're better off to use some big, big crescent wrenches. Or any kind of wrench that grabs the outside without crushing the fitting. So at this point, what you need to do is tighten that fitting up. And when you do this, you really have to tighten it a lot. Because you're actually making a flare inside the fitting. So you're creating a flare in there. Uh, one thing I'd like to say about the gas tank system, you're not dealing with any kind of O-rings or anything like that. Your seal is actually a flare. So I'm not familiar with all the uh, different kind of systems out there. But there you go. Your fitting's on there. Um, this is a pipe thread, so it goes into your regular half inch pipe, lock iron pipe. Okay, so that's how you assemble your gas tank fittings. Uh, let's take this apart. I'll show you what it looks like. Again, don't use pipe wrenches. You can distort the fitting, cause a leak. Try to stick with uh, big crescent wrenches. Alright, we got that loose. Taking this apart. Now you can see on the inside of there, it's actually a made of fitting out of the stainless steel. And it matches up to the inside of this. And that's how you create a real nice seal with this stuff. So it actually, on your pipe, it makes a seal around there. In the form that, you have to tighten it up real tight. Otherwise, if you don't tighten it up real tight, you're going to cause leaks. And it's as simple as that. That's all it takes to hook your uh, fitting up to your stainless steel lug. So this is a gas tight system. It's made to carry natural gas. Takes the place of black iron. But I'll be honest with you, you still use black iron in the installation, which I will film an installation we're doing here. But I want to show you how to put your fitting on. Now, I believe you can now buy this stuff, not gas tight, but stainless steel tubing at your home centers. 
and I'm not sure how you can get certified. You may have to watch your video. But it is available. It's something you have to look into if you're running gaslight. No longer do you have to use my card. So uh, that's a little demonstration on the gas type bedding.